hi guys welcome back to my channel and today we're filming my january wrap up i read a total of six books in january and yes this video is late because it's currently the third while i'm filming this because i was out of town so i couldn't film my wrap up and get it posted before the first because i was still reading my last book of the month on the on my vacation but don't you worry it's here now and like i said i read a total of six books and it was actually a great reading month and it was also a fantasy month because i did not read a single romance in the month of january so without further ado let's get started okay so the first book was heavenly bodies by imani iru and this was five stars for me i loved look at all my tabs i loved enzo and alara i love enemies to lovers i really liked the i don't want to say mythology but it's kind of like i don't know i just liked how it was like each star which was like a god like ran each part of the country like so each country had its own like god that they worshipped star that they worshipped and i kind of just liked how the whole plot came together and the plot was really plotting if that makes sense and i liked the pace i love a good fantasy that's paced well and then i ran into fallen stars which is the second book in the trilogy and i read this one a 3.5 just because the pacing on this one kind of fell short the first half was very long and hard to get through and then the second half you know we kind of got to the good stuff so not bad this is um this author's like debut series and i think the third one comes out sometimes in sometime in 2024 so i'm really excited to see how the second the third one comes about because again i loved the first one and then the second one just fell a little short on me like i feel like we kind of lost the plot a little bit and we kind of just like kept going and adding like new ideas that just like didn't make sense to me but i'm excited for the third book to come out and i really hope it it's the conclusion that this series deserves you know and then the next were a couple of rereads because as we all know house of plum and shadow came out at the end of the month so obviously i had to reread house of earth and blood and house of sky and breath earth and blood is honestly like my all-time favorite and i read this book at least three times at this point and it hits every single time and then my reread of sky and breath was actually really good because the first time i read it i kind of missed the whole plot of the book <laughs> i was sick and i was kind of just like reading to reading or reading to read and trying to get through it so i really didn't understand the plot of the book but i loved it so five stars five stars i really enjoyed my reread and nothing beats crescent city in my mind like i love all of sarah j mass's series but i think crescent city is just the top one for me it's just top tier i love it better i like it better than hakatar and tog combined so i know that's kind of controversial because i know tog is kind of up there for everybody and their mother but crescent city is the gem of my world and i love hunt and bryce and <laughs> i was scared for them going into book three but alas house of flame of shadow i actually read this book on my kindle because i didn't want it to have a hardcover because i knew in a year when the paperback comes out that one's going to be my annotated one but i also rated house of flame of shadow five stars it did everything for me i know a lot of people were upset because it wasn't very akatar heavy heavy and i didn't really focus on the akatar characters but that was just fine with me because this is crescent city and i like that it focused on the crescent city people and i kind of like how it kept the plot on the plot and we didn't go strand across the board to the akatar side so 
five stars for house of flame shadow for me and i've never read a book faster literally read it in two days and i loved every every second of it and if you don't agree that's okay that's all right let's move on and then this is actually the first book i read of the month but i'm showing it at the end don't ask me why but ruthless vows by rebecca ross the sequel to divine rivals that i've been waiting for since i finished divine rivals a few months ago and i rated this a 4.5 because i loved iris and kit they just i love them so much and i wish them nothing but happiness and i'm very sad to say goodbye to them and the first half of this book when little spoilers obviously when roman didn't remember who iris was i wanted to cry i was very upset but they got back to where they belonged they got back to each other and that's all i could have asked for so 4.5 from me and that's a wrap on my wrap up so that was six books and again that was all fantasy oh heavy fantasy month and honestly my february tbr is also heavy fantasy so i'm gonna give you my feb tbr because it's interesting to say the least so on to that okay now on to my february tbr and these aren't all of them but these are the main ones i think so I'm gonna show you guys and honestly these are all fantasy as well but I always set a TBR and never really stick to it I actually did stick to my genuine January TBR to like a T like I made a list at the beginning of the month and I read all six books <clears throat> and I read all six books on the list so let's see I have a list I did the same thing for February because why not so i think i'm gonna start with the ones that are on the phone list and then we'll move on to the ones that were new purchases and will be relatively easy to get through so first it's this series by bridget kemener so i have defy the night and defend the dawn and then the third one destroy the day is on its way to me as we speak so i think Defy the Night is going to be the first book of my February reads because I have been eyeing this for a couple weeks now and I feel like it's really been like popping up there so I mean I'm intrigued to see what it's all about and then the next big one is the Atlas series by Olivia Blake so I've already read the Atlas six and I was going to reread it when the Atlas Paradox was announced, but then the Atlas Complex was announced. So I figured I would just wait until all three were out so I could read them. So I have the Atlas Six, the Atlas Paradox, and the Atlas Complex. And this one, it is fantasy, but I think it's more of like a dark academia vibe. So a little different, but still a big series to conquer, especially because these are very complex dark academia books then a book i don't have but it's being released is magnolia parks into the dark by jessa hastings and i need to pre-order it immediately because a couple weeks i think it comes out the 14th correct me if i'm wrong the 14th and i'm not ready i am not emotionally prepared so wish me luck when that time comes but that will be read in february because there is no other choice i cannot wait until march no 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 because it will not be spoiled for me absolutely not and then a new series that i just picked up i really want i don't want to say it's new it's new in the sense that i've only read the first two and there's still three more in the series and it's also to the fact that the show just came out and I kind of want to start from the beginning and go through the whole thing so i have the percy jackson series and it is not in order right now 
but I have The Lightning Thief, The Sea of Monsters, The Titan's Curse, The Battle of the Labyrinth, and The Last Olympian. So I've read Lightning Thief and Sea of Monsters, and I didn't finish it when I was younger, and I got rid of the books, and I did end up repurchasing them because why not they're just pretty they're really pretty and i love the series and i really want to read the books and then the last two books on my february tbr are actually going to be rereads hopefully because i want to restart zodiac academy so i really want to read books reread books one through eight so hopefully if i have time maybe i can start the first or second one and I don't know that's being optimistic don't know if that's actually going to happen because book nine comes out in April and I have no way of knowing if I'm actually going to do a reread of Zodiac Academy I really want to that's just again a lot it's a commitment it's a lot of work I to get books one through eight done before book nine comes out in april is a little optimistic of me especially with all the new releases and all the books on my tbr and i'm completely abandoning my physical tbr to reread books so we will see but that's the end of this video and i really hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you guys next time bye